Howdy folks, hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, I want to talk today about this culture of ghosting that we live in. And I don't mean ghosting in just the sense of not responding to text messages, right? That's, you know, we think about somebody ghosting us. That's typically, at least for me, that's where my mind goes. But I feel like that is a symptom of a deeper issue. And the issue is one where there is a lack of accountability, lack of responsibility, and inability or refusal to be self-aware of what you're doing, what you stand for, and who you are. This is a big issue, right? There is, and I don't know if it's just on the West Coast that I'm experiencing this. I, I'm sure I experienced it on the East Coast too, but I'm just become more aware of it now is that there is a lot of trepidation and fear around confrontation. Now, I'm not saying go and try to pick fights with people. That is not what I'm saying. But confrontation in the sense where if someone is impeding upon your boundaries, saying something, or at the very least, right, if you're asking someone for something, an exchange of sorts. For example, I'm a trainer, right? And so I do lead outreach and I'll reach out to potential clients and say, hey, want to train? And sometimes they respond, sometimes they don't. But what's more interesting is the ones that I've met with, that I have built a rapport with, that are really engaged and interactive and interested in what I have to offer, stop responding. Now, the easy solution the simple solution is just to say, change my mind, no thanks. However, oftentimes I've noticed that people don't even want to do that. For them, it seems like it's less of an investment or there's less discomfort in just ghosting. And so how do we survive this? How do we, um, how do we approach this, right? Well, ultimately, if someone is ghosting you, they're not interested. And one thing I've learned through my experience, but also through doing work recently around boundaries and respect and consequences, setting consequences, is you can't fix anybody. Nor should you stoop to nice guy traits, so just trying to be liked by everybody, trying to appease everyone, trying to accommodate for everybody in order to get some sort of illusory satisfactory reaction out of them and I'm using a lot of flowery words here but you can't fix them uh, what you can do is be self-aware of what you will and will not tolerate in your life and then filter people accordingly uh, because if you ignore it it will persist you know I was explaining to someone very close to me about how um, Someone else is being disrespectful, and I, and I confronted the person about it and expressed how I felt. Wasn't mean or aggressive about it, but just direct in how I was feeling about the situation. And this person close to me said, you know, just, just, just leave it alone, it'll pass over, just ignore it. And I'm like, no, you can't ignore it. If you ignore a problem, it's like, it's, it's like if you have a disease or you're sick, right? If you continue to ignore it, it may be a symptom of something deeper that's going on. And so when it comes to things like this, they're like viruses, they're like cancers. You have to cut them off as soon as they show up. And then you begin to condition the other person to go, hey, either you respect me or you have to leave. And uh, I've been even, uh, I don't want to use the word victim, that's what we're trying to avoid here, but I've been on the receiving end of someone setting boundaries and I was like, whoa, wow, okay, sh damn. Uh, I actually respect this person even more now because they value their time and they know what they stand for. And so that's super important and I, I hope that's helpful. And I would say by and large, really it's about knowing who you are and what your values are and filtering accordingly. If you have any questions, comments, or I'm gonna dive deeper into it, let me know in the comments below. 
I've been doing a lot of learning and practice on this as of recently. So happy to share. Cheers.